For the Lewis structure of beryllium chloride, beryllium chloride, if you look at the periodic table, uh, we can look at each of the contributing elements in the molecule. So beryllium has one, two valence electrons, and chlorine has seven. It's in the seventh column. We can count up the total number of valence electrons that will be present in the molecule by just adding those up. So there's one chlor or sorry, two chlorines in the molecule. So it's two times seven, it's 14 valence electrons that come from those chlorines. And beryllium has two valence electrons that it contributes to the molecule. So I can start drawing the Lewis structure by just drawing beryllium with two valence electrons and two chlorines each with seven valence electrons. We're then going to try to fill the octets of the chlorines. Beryllium is kind of an exception in that you can form stable molecules of beryllium without filling its octet. Um, to be honest, it doesn't have a lot of electrons to start with, so it's not unlikely that it's just not going to have a completed octet. So what I can do is replace non-bonding electrons, two of them, with a bond. And that now fills chlorine's octet because there's two, four, six non-bonding electrons and two bonding electrons in this bond. So that's eight electrons total. I can do the same thing for the other chlorine and the beryllium. So I just replace those two non-bonding electrons with the bond. Now its octet is completed as well. And I can double check to make sure that I did not um, violate or like create any electrons out of nothing. So we started with 16 electrons in the valence shells of the contributing um, atoms and in the molecule we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 non-bonding electrons and two bonds, two electrons per bond, so that's four bonding. So 12 plus 4, that's 16 electrons total. So this is consistent with the count we started with. We can ask ourselves what the geometry of this molecule is going to be. So when I look at the central atom, I see that there, its electrons, uh, its valence electrons are only found in two places, this bond and this bond. So if there are only two places that electrons are found around a atom or around a nuclei, then that is going to be a linear geometry. So that means that this bond angle is going to be 180 degrees. It's a straight line. It's linear. 